Hello there! So, I'm very excited for this video today because I have been wanting to build my own portfolio of work for a really, really long time now and it's just not something that I've ever gotten around to doing. I was recently contacted by a company called Wix who are kindly sponsoring this video today. And Wix basically allows you to promote your business, showcase your art, set up an online store for your work and basically it's just a great way to um, build a portfolio of work, which is something that I have been wanting to do for a really, really long time. Um, I actually came across a tweet the other day that said, Artists who don't have a dedicated portfolio site, instead just have a blog and or Instagram, you make it really hard for me to hire you. Part of my hiring process is seeing you edit your own work. The way someone curates their portfolio tells me a lot about their judgement. Um, and I agree with this because I actually, if you didn't know, I have a Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science because I love building websites and I know how much work goes into building them. Um, so I really do not have the time to sit and build and edit and code my own website. It's just not something that I have the time to do. Now I want a website because I think it's so important as an artist to have a place where you can showcase your art. It's so vital as an artist to have a website and showcase your social media all in one place so people aren't having to go to a bunch of different links to find your work. Uh, so that's why I'm building a website today and I'm very excited. I'm actually gonna be setting up an e-commerce website so I'm able to sell my artwork on my website as well. So I feel all fancy because I've got my own link and everything, but if you go to wix.com slash chloroseart, you can build your website today. And if you do, make sure you let me know what it is because I want to check out your portfolios. So let's get started. Okay, so it says I want to create a website for myself. So we're going to do that. Uh, it should be a online store or portfolio. I kind of want to do um, a, an online store and portfolio at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select... Uh, portfolio for now and then go further with that later on. Okay, pick the portfolio and CV website template you love. There are a lot on here. Oh, I kind of like how this one looks. And see, that's the thing. You notice how here you can see that it's like mobile already. The thing about building websites, and I know this from experience, you can build a website, you can code a website, but just because it looks good on one browser doesn't mean it's not going to look a hot mess on other browsers and then you open it on your phone, you have been to those websites that just aren't phone compatible. That's something you always have to take into consideration when you're building your own website and it is a nightmare. Um, oh, let me see this one. Oh, I quite like this one. This is quite unique. I like how it has all the social media because I think that's very important for my website is to have like social media links that's, you know, that's pretty vital, I feel. My main purpose behind all of this is just to have one place where people can find me and look up stuff about me, about my work, and see what I can kind of do, because you can see me on Instagram, but that doesn't really tell you about who I am as a person or where my other social medias are. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit this website. Okay, so I wanna customize this to be just kind of for me. So I'm gonna customize this best I can. Now what I really love about Wix is that you don't have to spend a penny if you don't want to, to build a website. And it has a lot of customization options. So none of the websites that you build are necessarily gonna look like anybody else's, which I, you know, there's nothing worse than websites that look exactly the same as everyone else's. Um, so I'm looking at the presets now, I'm gonna design it. Uh, oh, okay. I like the circles, so I think I'm gonna keep the circles. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I want to I want to try and change the colors. So if I go here, these are the colors that I pre-selected. I wanted to have like mint, yellow, gray. That's kind of the theme that I'm going for, and the white. So I think this button can be gray. Ah, uh, oh, oh my god! You could have you could have videos as the background, and oh. <gasps> I can have bananas as a background, are you joking? I mean, I don't necessarily need bananas on the background. I don't even necessarily like bananas at all. But if you want a banana background, you can do that with Wix. Let's change the photo first of all, because as nice as this is, this lady is lovely and she looks very pleasant. Uh, I think I'm gonna change it to not be the lady. So I need a photo of myself and I have one here of myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this image. I'm going to call it Chloe trying to look professional. Okay, so then we're going to save that. Boom! There we go. There's me. My theme 
kind of works with those colours, I think, right? Okay, that'll... That'll do. Okay, I've just discovered that I can move all of this stuff. Like, if I want to move it, I can move it, which I really like. Um, is it quite conceited to have a picture of myself right smack dab in the centre of the... of the? Maybe? So, I'm gonna move my buttons over here. I'm so excited. If you can't tell, I'm so excited that I'm finally building a website. Because this has just been hanging over my head for so long. And it's driving me nuts. Okay, so if I move that to be kind of there, I can have my about me in a paragraph here. Okay, I like this. I like, I like this. Okay, I'm excited. Right, I'm going to change the text to um, shop. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be selling my art and my button, my, not my buttons, my enamel pins on there. So shop, and then my work. I'm gonna say portfolio, and then it's gonna be about me. And on the about me page, it's gonna be like a contact page. Because in my opinion, when you have a portfolio website, when you're an artist, you really, really need to have your portfolio. If you need, if you want to shop, have a shop. But the main things really are your about you about me page. You need to have a page that's talking about you, your skills, your skill set. That's very important. Then you also need to have a page that shows off your portfolio of work um, and your best work, so people can just find out everything about you. And then also have your social media. Like at the bottom here, I've got my social media. Uh, I'm not going to call it that because that seems a bit. I don't even know. Can I just say Chloe Rose? Is that really weird if I just have my name there? Chloe Rose. I like how like lowercase looks, so I'm gonna go for that vibe. I'm a paragraph. I'm not. I'm. I'm not a paragraph. Should we do it third person? Maybe. Uh, Chloe Rose is a professional adult. She adults rather well, though recently she would very much like woof wolf would very much like to be a child again full stop oh railway i have that that's the font i use in all of my videos railway where's railway that's the one i just like how that one that one kind of looks oh i like those okay i like those maybe if i customize the design i can change change the background this is how it looks and then when you click the links the colors are going to change which i think is all very very fun let's change the social links because those are very much wrong art of chloe rose self promo youtube right so we're going to add a link to this um http slash slash www.youtube.com slash art of chloe rose then we've got, I've got a Facebook page that I don't ever use, but we'll put it on there anyway. Um, Google Plus, nobody uses Google Plus anymore. Absolutely not. We need Instagram because Instagram's my second, second biggest one. So we'll add that to the gallery. www.instagram.com slash art of Chloe Rose. Rose, Rose. Um, 2020, copyright 2023. Bloody hell, she's got a time machine. 2018. Normally it's the current year they put, or maybe until the website's supposed to last, I don't know. Proudly created with Wix and tiredness. Contact at artofchloerose.com. Don't contact me there, because that's not even an in an existence email address just yet, but just letting you know. Tell me in the comments down below what colours you would have on your website. And if you build a website on Wix, let me know in the comments down below so I can check it out. Mm, do we go yellow or do we go mint or do we go grey? I don't know about you, I am so having fun with this. Like, I'm not even just saying that, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I specialise in digital artwork, video editing i can't ever think about what to say about myself like does anyone else have that problem like i feel it's like really funny when people are like 
Chloe Rose is a full-time this and that, and she in her spare time, but it's like you know full well that you wrote that yourself. What do I actually do with my life? Work as a freelance artist, specialising in digital artwork, video editing, social media development, sounds fancy. Uh, video editing and social media development is also... This sounds so bad. <laughs> oh, look how pretty it looks. It looks so nice. I love it. Okay, so if I like put a resume, oh, look at this. They've got like a pre-made thing here that allows you to put in what you're actually good at. I feel so professional now. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to add apps. What apps, what apps are they? Oh, I can add my Instagram feed. Oh, I can add my Instagram feed. Let's not do that there. Oh, here we go. Look, it's my Instagram. Oh, right. Okay, so I'm going to put that down here because I don't want that to be the main focus. Oh my God, look at this. I can add a get like a full proper gallery of my work. I think I'm going to add a grid gallery because I think that's probably the nicest, look, it's even in keeping with my theme, the mint and the yellow. Change image, okay, I can change the images, I'm so excited. Okay, so these look quite cool now. It's got like a little gallery of work, which is nice. If I preview this, if you click it, it, it opens it. Look at that, that's cool. So you can kind of go through your gallery of work like that without worrying having to set that up yourself. So basically what I'm doing is just adding all of my favorite and best pieces to my website so people can kind of see what I can do. Um, and again, in the next year, I'm gonna work a bit more on trying to get more together. But for now, I think that is good. We'll get rid of this one. So there we go. I've got my nice little portfolio of digital artwork here. You can kind of see. Um, and if you go to preview, they're all quite sharp, which I like, and then you can just go through the, the Go through the images Okay, so I have finally finished my website I just went off camera for a while to fix it and do what I wanted with it, but this is how it looks I'm really happy with it. Uh, you've got like the little uh, Go to my YouTube channel button here Which like changes when you highlight it and then you can see it like opens my channel up in a new tab I've got an about me page. I like how it like hovers. When it hovers, you can change the colour of it. Um, so I've got my like, about me page. And then I've got my portfolio page here, which basically has all of my like old work you can look at. Um, and then underneath here, I've got like my Instagram feed. Uh, I have a contact me page, which is basically where businesses and companies can get in contact with me via this form. And then I have probably my favourite thing. I have a shop for all of my artist problem pins which are available now if you want to go on my website um, but yeah they're like it's an actual shop which I find so exciting um, and you can like add it to your cart and then you've got your cart over here and then you can check out and it's just so neat how it all works and then you've got like the little shopping basket up here you can make an account on my website and that's that's everything it's so cool Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you build your own website, let me know in the comments down below what website it is and I'll absolutely check it out. And also I challenge you to make yourself a new website so you can show off your beautiful work. And if you do, make sure you leave a link to your website in the description down below and I will, not in the description, in the comments down below and I will definitely check it out and I am excited to see it. So thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.